So my dude's Valk here, and today I'm going to be telling you how to make a team comp, and because that's probably one of the most, the most asked questions I get, how to properly make a team comp. And I'm going to give you guys guidelines, because uh, I'm telling you, the amount of times I get asked is X, 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 and X a good what? team. And I go, yeah, sure. Because, um, first off, the upper world is extremely easy. Your team does not matter. If you guys have not seen my streams, I've gone to the point where I've cleared everything in my world level 7 with a level 50 shingling, just to prove that point, that world level does not matter. And uh, I really need to drive the point home sometimes. So you can really play whoever you want, but here's some guidelines that way you're not struggling so much, because in the end, this isn't a use who's good game, this is a use who you like game, because you're going to spend a lot of time on each character. And you have to make sure you really like the characters you're investing in, because each character is a huge investment, especially if you chase constellations on 5 stars, because then it's a financial investment as well. And you guys will get a much better idea of how to build a character, or how to build a team, excuse me. Um, and the first thing we want to get into is the easiest way to keep track of this setup is you go DPS, sub-DPS, support, and healer. Now, what do I mean by each role that I'm listing? A DPS is your primary damage dealer. DPS stands for damage per second. They are going to be the ones that deal the absolute most damage. And then the supports, or the sub-DPS, excuse me, the sub-DPS is a character that's only going to be on the field for a few seconds, but their goal is to deal as much damage as they can whenever they're on the field. They're just going to be dealing damage for a few seconds so it can be many many characters many dps you can slot into your sub dps role it doesn't really matter now um, you can have two dps on one team too if you want to swap them out it really doesn't matter it's up to you and then the support is a character that supports your other allies through either buffing them or providing uh crowd control or cc Crowd control uh, refers to any ability like Vinti's ult that would bring the enemies into one place and create them where they could not move. Or Zhongli's ult where he petrifies them, that's another form of crowd control. It's going to be able to, most of the time crowd control is giant AoE abilities that stun or lock up the enemy into some sort of animation or something. Vinti is one of the best at it. Uh, that would be a support. And then the other type of support would be something like Bennett who buffs your team. Or Sing Cho, who buffs your normal attacks, stuff like that. That would be a support who buffs you. That's another form of supporting. And then we get to Healer. Healer is iffy because a lot of supports also heal, but then you have two pure healers in Chi Chi and Barbara. They don't do anything, they contribute nothing other than healing the fuck out of you. Um, this role is if you don't need this role, but it's extremely helpful for survivability. The amount of times Chi Chi's pulled me out of shitty situations, it's pretty uncanny. You guys will probably see it on stream every now and then. But yeah, if you follow this setup, I promise you, no matter who you're running, DPS, sub DPS, support, and healer, you're going to be fine. But if you have like a super strong healer, you could run triple, D triple DPS right here and just swap through your GPS and have fun. That's also perfectly fine. Vinti, just this setup makes life a little bit easier and should help you guys decide how to do it. Now, how do you know which role each one is? Like I said, damage dealer, on the field for a few seconds, only meant to deal some damage, crowd controller slash buffer, and healer. If you read through your character's set, if you go through your character's talents and you read and you see that, oh, Vinti's here and knocks uh, characters, it summons and deals launching opponents into the air. Oh, he has a giant AoE CC right here. And then, um, that sucks in opponents and deals continuous Nemo damage. Oh, he has more CC. And what's this? He generates energy for the team, so he is constantly buffing them in some way by giving them energy. So he's a support. Uh, Chi Chi can check her kit and be like, oh, she heals. Etc. You can do this with just about any character and figure out what they're good at and then build a team around that. Anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Peace.